Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome. It is November. It's hard to believe that this year is almost over and what a year it has been. I hope everyone is staying safe and the extra time that we're probably all finding ourselves spending inside, um, I hope you're able to get some good practice time. So let's dive in and see what's new from the cutting edge. Now this month I'm continuing the GoPro series. So the view down the neck through the lens of the GoPro. I've got a section in the channel that's titled just that, the GoPro view. So that's additional learning. Um, there's some things that just a straight on shot you just don't see. And you know, from time to time I'll turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing, but having a GoPro mounted to the headstock and teaching a whole series from that lens it's really very valuable. So I'm going back through the song packs and I'm teaching those songs. And um, so they're going to be in their own folder titled GoPro View, but they make an excellent um, added learning for each of the song packs, okay? Eventually, after I get through this series, I may insert them in each of their song packs sections, I'm not sure, but right now they are living in their own folder. Last month I launched three, I did finger exercises, 12 bar blues, and different techniques, some of the tips and tricks. This month I am doing, um, I went down easy, which is 12 bar blues in E, but it, it's a song that we've covered, it's one of the song packs, it's a song that I wrote that's very reminiscent of the Lemon Song by Zeppelin, and um, there's a lot to this. So uh, I'm really excited for you to see this series. So I went down easy through the lens of the GoPro. All right, so I want you to focus on that. And if you haven't had time to go through the finger exercise GoPro series, um, the techniques uh, and the um, 12 bar blues in E, that's in its open position. Um, I would encourage you to do that. There's a lot there. So please be sure to warm up with at least one of the finger exercises every day. Just work your way up and down the 12th, up to the 12th fret and back down, all right? And uh, then just know that there's that additional resource of the techniques from the GoPro, okay? Uh, I have several different folders throughout the channel where I do teach these techniques, but not from this view. So be sure and check that out. And finally, if you are new to the channel, please be sure to start with the quick start guide. There's four folders in there. One is everything you need to know on two pieces of paper. And whether you've been playing a long time or not, this will be an excellent way to find out what I call things and how I reference things. And if you're just getting started, this is a great, great, great learning tool, okay? If you're somewhere in between, um, and you want to make sure that there's no holes that, you know, are, are left open. This is a really good foundational series to watch and, and you can get through it really quick, okay? There's also Hey Joe on electric and on acoustic, but I'm not so much teaching people how to play the song, although I, I do, but my main motive is to teach people how to play the guitar through the lens of that song, okay? Because that song offers a lot every single open chord is representative of the chord forms that we have in our cage system, C, A, G, E, and D. All of those chords are used in their open position for Hey Joe. And then the bar chords. You get your root six and your root five uh, bar chords in that song in a way that if you're just learning how to play, it's a great way to learn your bar chords. And if you've been playing for a long time, I have a lot of videos here. Um, that teach Hey Joe and do a really deep dive. So, you know, if you want to really hone in on your skills, gain more flexibility with your wrist, um, get to be more accurate and fluid with your wrist, because a lot of times that recklessness and the fluidity comes at the expense of being, you know, uh, precise. So, you know, I've just got a lot of things for you to think about in there, so I would encourage you to watch those no matter what level you're on. And then there's a really good 12-bar blues in the key of E um, on the acoustic guitar that is just, you know, one of you like blues, it's a, it's a fun song to learn. But if you're just starting out, 
that 145, that 12 bar blues concept is the foundation of blues rock guitar. Okay? All right, so let's get started with November. Don't forget, there's the GoPro section, and I'll be adding to those each month. There's a quick start guide, and if you're on one day and you really feel like you're getting somewhere and want to, you know, show us what you got, please hit record, post a video, and let us know how you're doing, okay? And if you have any questions, I'm here. That's what I'm here for, all right? I'm Kelly Ritchie. I approve of this message. Um, be safe and have a great month. Peace, please.